Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Today is day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. We're almost done. After today, there will just be two days left. And it's a good thing because I was just on the Stampin' Up! website checking out what sold out. And boy, that list has grown. Hopefully, I have beat it into you guys. <laughs> I say it every day, check that last chance list and don't wait. So many things have already sold out. It is crazy. Um, we have things sell out in the years past, but I feel like this year it's a lot of things. Um, a lot of popular bundles. I just saw that the gingerbread bundle has sold out. Um, what else? There was something else that was new that surprised me. I can't remember, but... If you're looking for something and you're on the store website and you can't find it, it doesn't come up, that means it's gone. But today, what I'm showing you is not gone. So if you love what we make today, it's still available. <laughs> Brandy says, I bet you're tired of Christmas projects. No, I'm not tired of Christmas projects. I'm tired of um, doing my hair every day. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a ponytail one day this week, but for you guys, no ponytails. <laughs> um, I'm actually, well, I still have one more to do for Friday. I just, I, I am feeling a little like creatively like, well, because I, you know, this time of year you start thinking about all the things you got to do. I got to wrap presents. I do have stocking stuffers. I, what are we having for Christmas dinner? You know, all that. So that's kind of where my mind is going. But anyhow, today we're going to make two projects using the Arctic Bears, which really isn't a Christmas set. I I mean, it's really just a general set. There's no Christmas sayings. Now a polar bear is winter, so it could be used for Christmas. But today, really, the things, well, I guess one of them is a, I turned into a Christmas card. So, okay, let's run through a couple of things. I have gotten some beautiful things in the mail I want to show you guys, okay? Um, Vicki. Vicki, I got your gift. She sent me this beautiful card, beautiful card featuring that gorgeous paper that's not available anymore. And look, she had this beautiful little present all wrapped up in gingham um, tissue paper. And Vicki, you're really good at wrapping. Can you come help me, please? <laughs> it was beautiful. And I love it. Little pink wallet. Definitely going to use it. It's very thoughtful of you, Vicki. Thank you so much. Um, I've gotten some cards. Marnie, today I got yours. Look how cute it it pops up like that. The little snowman holds it in place. I think I'm going to have to case this. Very cute, Marnie. Thank you. Very cute. Um, this one came from Chad, who works at Stampin' Up. He's congratulating me on my, my milestones. I just thought that was beautiful. Thanks, Chad. Um, now, these a couple of these are old. They've been sitting here for a while. Nina, I actually have two cards from Nina. That's how long it's been. This beautiful card from Nina, that's just gorgeous. That looks like you watercolored it, you know, or is that the designer series paper? I don't know, it's beautiful. And then this card, I love, <laughs> this is from Joanne and she says, I know this stamp says retired, but I can't stop playing with it. Yeah, I can see why. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, Joanne. Um, here's a fun little Christmas card. This one is from Kelly. It opens like that. And it has this little panel over here. I love cards that open differently. Very cute. Ooh, this one came and it was big. And it's a square card, Nancy. Look how cute. What do you call that? Pinwheel? I don't think I've ever done that technique. But that is really, really cool. Thanks, Nancy. It's a beautiful card. Um, ooh, and this one's gorgeous too. This is, um, is this Blackberry Bliss and Silver? Nina, again, look at that, gorgeous. You can't, you probably can't tell, but those bells are glimmer paper. Very pretty. And look, she's used that ribbon that I haven't used since last Halloween. Perfect. I always think of it as a Halloween ribbon, but it's not. Um, Amanda, she's in my downline, gorgeous. Amanda, Amanda's a great stamper. That's beautiful. Very nice, Amanda, thank you. And this one is from, well, it has a lot of, signatures but Beth I believe is who sent it to me Beth V Beth V Beth that's very pretty thank you you know is this the poinsettia stamp that we still have I keep seeing the dies and then I just skip over it I should pull those out that poinsettia set this one is so cute this was a card that Jill no it was actually Carla Carla sent something to me um, in the mail and look how cute she sent it to me she said she knew I'd love it because it has the gingham check how cute 
This one is very special. This is from Sarah, our CEO, congratulating me on my 1.2 million in sales. Look at that, how she used those two labels like that and then put the butterfly centered over that. I thought that was really clever. Never in my wildest dreams would I've thought of that, but I love it. Um, and here is another Christmas card from Mary Alice. I love how Mary Alice is showcasing both sides of that paper. You know, if you fold the paper over, sometimes you can't decide on which pattern to use, but that one is uh, really cool how she folded the corner so you can see both. Thank you, Mary Alice. Now, this one was so funny. My husband even was like, that's really cool. And um, this is from Dee. And Dee's little card is so cute because this, the, um, I can't, what's his name? He's a penguin, not a snowman. I keep wanting to call him a snowman. He moves. Isn't he cute? And he's got that balloon. So cute. But she sent me some more post-it tape, but look what she did to it. How cute. And she sent me an extra one. Isn't that cute? Dee, that's so fun. Thank you. And I'm glad, yes, I was almost out too. So thank you very much. You guys, I've always said it, y'all are the most thoughtful people ever. I am not good at sending cards, not good at sending thank you cards. I have a neighbor who lives over here, her son and my daughter have been best friends since they were like two. And she has her kids write thank you notes immediately after everything they ever get. They're so good. And I always think, gosh, man, I really, I really fell down on the job there. I don't make my kids do that. And I really should. Um, that's an old, um, an old skill, like an old, um, what do you, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <sighs> courtesy, that's not the word, but you guys know, I mean, that's, that's unusual in these days. So Anyway, you guys are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna run through a couple of things and then we're gonna get started. Um, if you have not been around, <laughs> this is what we've made in the last nine days. I'm gonna add two more projects to it. There is a ton of stuff. If you're looking for ideas, just etiquette, Cindy, that's the word. Cynthia, that is the word, etiquette. Um, thank you. If you are looking now, you know, see it's delayed. It's like 10 seconds delayed and now all of you guys are telling me etiquette. Thank you. Sometimes the words just don't come. <laughs> um, anyways, go to my blog. If you go to pinkbucker.com, you'll be able to see all the last like 20 days and you can go in and pick out whichever ones you need um, inspiration on. Okay, so they're all there. They're all, all of them have the video recordings. Club Create, do you guys see behind me? Look at that. <laughs> that is 200 envelopes that I just printed out labels for, for Club Create. I'm kind of off my schedule um, for Club Create, waiting for something to arrive, but I'm hoping I'll get them out by Monday. So anyway, the labels take forever. I hate doing that part, they take forever. But today I did it with no mistakes, which is unusual. Um, so look, they take them a whole counter. <laughs> Anyhow, Club Create for January is open and it's the adorable Rainbow of Happiness bundle that is um, in the upcoming spring catalog. So if you love that, make sure you subscribe. Um, you have until the 7th of January, but anyway, I just wanted to point that out. You can click Club Create at the top of my blog or I'll add the link here when I'm done, okay? All right, all right. So 12 days of Christmas, tomorrow is Marius Moments, you guys. I said it yesterday, that Marius Moments, um, I overlooked it. I overlooked it and it is amazing. So tomorrow, I hope you like my projects. I love them and I wish that I had used that set more. Um, so anyway, join me tomorrow, two o'clock and then Friday, delivering cheer. I have one project, <laughs> I'm hoping to have two. Hopefully some inspiration comes. Uh, you know, like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, I think with my creativity this week. Um, but I do have one. I'm trying to pull in some of the new stuff, sneak peek stuff for you guys. Um, so anyway, um, join me tomorrow and Friday at two o'clock as well. Okay. All right. Um, door prizes. You have to go to my blog. You have to scroll down. You have to click a link today. I'm asking you what your favorite Christmas song is, I believe, and your address. And yesterday's winner who is getting the retired great tidings bundle is Susan Little. And Susan has an envelope in there. So Susan, I'm just gonna throw it in there. I hope that's okay. Um, congratulations, Susan. Um, I fell in love with this and it sold out and I'm happy that I have one to give away. All right. Oh, 
tomorrow. Surprise. Sparkle of the Season also sold out. The dies are sold out. Let me make sure I have the right ones. <laughs> Seasonal swirl dies. Sold out. So if you'd like to win it, go to my blog. Just click the link, answer some questions. I still see, it tells me like 300 people start the survey, but only 250 people complete it. I don't know if that's a glitch in the system or if people are just not entering. I'm not going to mail you anything, I promise. I delete your information as soon as I pick a winner. So enter to win. All right, that's tomorrow. Last but not least, I'm going to tell you, I'm not doing make and takes this week. Um, all orders between now and Christmas that use the host code and that are over $50 are going to get a special little gift in the mail from me. It's the oven mitt. Now, I counted and I, I only have 25 of these. And I received like seven orders yesterday. You guys must like this. So if you want it, I will announce when they run out. I'm hoping to have enough for everybody who puts in an order by Christmas, but if not, I'll announce that they're gone. Um, but if you put in a $50 order or more using that host code, you have to use the host code. Otherwise, I think you don't want it. Um, you also get the bedazzle paper and a pack of cards and envelopes. Okay. All right. That is it. You know what? I haven't even opened my Facebook. I thought I had it open. Hold on so that I can see your comments better. I can only see one comment at a time um, on my phone. So, um, okay, there we go. All right. So let me flip you guys around. Let me flip you guys around. So today we are doing the Arctic bears and I actually have three projects for you. Um, I decided to just use, obviously just do, we're just doing two. Um, here it is, and here are the dies. And I will tell you that I found, the stamps are great, but I found that I gravitated to the dies more than, let's see, where should I keep this? Let's put this on the side. More than the stamps, just because they're really fun. Um, these obviously will cut out the two bears. And as you can see, there's no Christmas sentiments. Um, they're just general. So if you're wanting to put in an order um, to, to have something new in January, this would be a great option, I think. I think you would get a lot of use out of this. Um, for non, I mean, obviously Christmas, yes, but for non-Christmas as well. Um, let's see, what was I gonna tell you also about that? I don't know, it left. Anyhow, we're gonna make, oh, I know what I was gonna say. So I told you guys yesterday what my initial thought when I was thinking about the bears was the Coca-Cola polar bear commercials. You guys are familiar with those, I'm sure, right? The little cute uh, polar bears that drink the Coca-Cola in the winter. So I search, I just did a Google search, um, Coca-Cola polar bears. And one of the things that came up was a shirt. There was actually a sweater and a shirt um, that was the Coca-Cola, like an ugly sweater Coca-Cola. So I thought, ooh, this is a good chance for me to use also, the knit sweater dies because I haven't even used those. So we're going to use the knit sweater dies and this little polar bear right here. And we're going to cut him out. We're going to have to cut him out backwards. Now, hopefully, <laughs> I kind of did this card um, halfway paying attention. I was doing some other things. I can't remember what was going on, but it was kind of chaotic. So let's see if I can actually recreate this card. I don't know. It's going to be iffy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think we can get it done. Um, one thing I do know, um, our uh, CEO, Sarah, um, Sarah Douglas, you can follow her on Facebook. She does a Facebook Live about once a week. And she did um, a card with the sweater, uh, knit sweater dies. And um, she was like, I highly recommend you using the adhesive sheets. So, of course, you guys know how I feel about the adhesive sheets. So we're going to use the adhesive sheets for sure. All right. Um, that's going to help us. There's going to be a lot of little leftover bits and doodads here at the end. So um, it might get a little messy with all the sticky, but it's going to be worth it because it's just going to be so much easier to, um, to, I should have laid this down on the paper, but I'm not. It'll be easier to, to lay down on our um, white cardstock without having to worry about the glue. Now I'm gonna to have to clean my scissors. All right, so we're gonna start with these pieces. 
and um, you can see I still have some stuck in there, but I think it'll be all right. One thing also that Sarah recommended, which I do a lot, is use some tape to tape your dies together. Um, I do this a lot if I have, if I'm die cutting a lot of things, and I, you know, like if I have three or four things I'm gonna die cut a bunch of, I'll tape them all together so that when I run it through, I could just pick them up like that and move them. Um, it's really, it is really, really helpful. Now I think if I remember correctly, yeah, I think we have to shorten up take out the no maybe not I was feeling like we had to shorten it up but no I don't think we do let's see it's just a mystery it's a mystery to me it's like a mystery stamping today <laughs> all right this is a piece of real red that is three and three fourths by five and we'll start at the very top now you'll you'll notice also that this um is going to cut it's not just gonna cut holes in, you know, it's not just gonna cut a pattern in your paper. It's actually gonna cut it into strips, okay? I'm gonna go through twice since we have that adhesive on the back. So you're gonna kinda need to stay organized when you take it apart. So see how that is? We're gonna take that one like that and I'm just gonna lay these over here like so. All right, now let's see if I drop it. Sometimes those will pop out, but no. Um, well, I'm dropping things on the floor. I have my dye brush. Let's get all these little things. Now, see all these cute little things that are coming out? You can use all these little shapes for other things too. So you might wanna like, you know, put them all in a little dish. All right, so we've got that. Now we're gonna come you know what, let's do the polar bear first because we wanna make sure we have room for the polar bear. And I just wanna make sure, because I feel like if I remember, yeah, I had to take one of these off and I don't remember which one it is, so we'll figure it out. Let's put the polar bear on here, like that. Run him through. Um, you know, Tabitha, these are a little intimidating. I will, I will totally agree with you. Um, but I just found that, you know, just like anything else playing with them, um, they were pretty easy. You know, you just kind of play around with it and then you have all these pieces and then you can just put this cute little sweater together. Now to get the bears to meet in the middle, what we have to do is turn this over like this. All right, and get them in the middle like that. That way they're facing the same direction. Okay. Like that. Now, what did I take out? Let me see. We have the that and that and that. Well, did they all fit? Well, maybe they did. That seems really close. I'm going to take this one off. That scares me. I, I It looks like they all fit maybe, but I don't know, maybe it did. Okay, let's do this. How far down did I go? Let's do this and then if we, if we need to, if we feel brave, we'll add that one back in and run it through again. We're gonna cover up this little section anyway with our sentiment, so I think it, it'll be fine. That's why I can't tell, because it's covered up. All right, let's put all of these down here, like this, kind of keep them in order so I can remember what I'm doing, and our little bear piece. Okay, now I have a piece of basic white that is the exact same size. And we wanna get all of these little stubborn pieces out. They will probably come out when we pull that adhesive off. So look, it's gonna turn it into a sticker. Love my adhesive sheets. I'm gonna line that right up there at the top, like that. Okay, now this one, which is so cute. This little piece could be used for so many things. Just like a, you know, an accent on a card. 
It is very cute. So it's almost like putting a puzzle together now. Okay. And it's gonna depend on how close you get with your things. You know, you could spread them out if you're, um, you know, whether you get to the end and you might have extra white or you get to the end and you don't have enough white. So it just depends. You can kind of lay them down before you um, adhere them to see which way, how close and how far. But you guys know me, I just go for it. I just go for it. You know what? That's what I left off right there. That is what I left off. Okay, we're gonna save that for the inside of the card. I can see where I cut it, but I didn't add it in. It's so cute though, I hate to not use it. It does look like Ju uh, Charlie Brown's shirt, that's funny. Let's see, let's go over a little bit more. We wanna make sure that we are right there. Okay. All right, now we've got the snowflakes. Now we're just gonna do this piece with our bears. Let's get all of these off. Hey, you guys, yesterday we talked about puff corn. My sweet husband said he'd go look for some yesterday on his way home from work. He said he went to 10 different stores. And I was like, man, you're really dedicated because I, I wouldn't have gone to that many stores. And finally, at the very last Walmart, he found three bags. So I don't know what's going on with Chester's puff corn. Everybody's trying to make the crack corn. I'm gonna send my, my college age daughter out this afternoon to look for it. I mean, it shouldn't be this hard. I can always find it when I don't need it, like in June, when I have no interest in making crack corn. And it doesn't last very long, so you, it's not like you can stock up on it. One time I even ordered a huge box from Walmart and it what came and some of it was moldy. So it doesn't last forever. I should have, I wish I'd had the forethought to do that this year. Back when my kids were little, I would make tons of crack corn and send it to all the teachers. Everybody who worked at the school got crack corn. Okay, so now we've got that, that space there, right? But we're gonna stamp our sentiment and we're gonna put it right there. So we're just gonna cover that up. Isn't that cute? Doesn't that look like a little Christmas sweater? I can't see your sentiment, your sentiment, <laughs> your words at all. All right, let's stamp. I am using um, Merry Christmas from the Holly Jolly Wishes. And we are going to, I'll use my new post-it tape. We're gonna mask off that top. We just want did I get all of it covered? Yep, we just want the Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, let's see, can I get it straight? All right, all right. Now I'm gonna take this one. Oh, good, I'm gonna use this one because the sticky has already been pulled off of that one. I'm gonna put that right there. And then do I have another one that the sticky is pulled off of? No, but this one's coming off. These little ones are hard to get. Okay, little snowflake there. A mm, little bit higher, like that. Then I'm gonna turn it over, grab my tear and tape, and we're gonna put tear and tape along both long edges. And get my favorite ribbon. And we're just gonna give it a border of ribbon like that. Snip. And then we're gonna lay it down again on the bottom. Give it another little border like that. Snip and snip. There we go. 
Okay, now it is very sticky on the back, but I'm gonna put dimensionals on it because I want it to pop up. It's so warm today, you guys, that I'm wearing shorts and I'm very angry about it. <laughs> I'm making Christmas cards and I'm wearing shorts. I am not a happy South Texan today. I know, you guys probably are like, I wish I was wearing shorts, but believe me, you don't. Not when you're doing Christmas things, for sure. All right, we're gonna put that right there. And I need to trim that because that does not look very good. Okay, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Let's tuck back in there. Now, wait a minute, we gotta add a bow, of course. And then that's it. 62 in West Virginia. Melinda, I would take 62. That's probably warm to you Up in West Virginia. Do you get a lot of snow? Um, here, that would be very nice. Very nice. That would be wintry for us. <laughs> Saturday, it's supposed to get wintry and rainy. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? You know, don't be intimidated by this sweater I keep wanting to call it sweater weather. Don't be intimidated by, oh, let's put this on the inside. Don't be intimidated by these knit sweater dies. Give it a, give them a chance, they're really cute. You know, what if we went like that across at an angle? And I think that they are pretty forgiving. Mm, I didn't do that right. Well, let's do another one, make it a little bit longer. Like that, it'll just continue. See, you can just, just fix it if it doesn't look right. Hmm, no, I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There is a sweater polar bear card. All right, now the next one, while I'm cleaning up. Last year, right before Christmas or around Christmas, someone emailed me, I don't remember who it was, and they said, do you have any boxes that will hold these Coca-Cola Tic Tacs? And for some reason that stuck in my mind, I didn't, but it stuck in my mind and I thought this year, as soon as the, pol you know, the polar bears, I was like, oh, Coca-Cola polar bears. And then I immediately bought the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs that are at Walmart. They have them right in the checkout stand at Walmart. Easy to find, very easy. And that is what we're gonna use. They're not regular Tic Tacs, right? They look like a Coke machine or something. They're cute, they're big. So we're gonna make, oh, my bow looks wonky. We're gonna make a little box for it, all right? Now I've done a lot of, I've got this red polar bear here. I need to get this red part out. Um, I, I've done a lot of it ahead of time. A lot of the die cutting, because there's a lot of die cuts. But let's make the box, okay? Let's make the box first, and then we'll do all the other things. Actually, we're gonna do some splatter first, because that needs to dry. We're gonna make a little snowy background. Let me get my grid paper. This is the same grid paper we used yesterday. It's just waiting for us to use it again. You're gonna get a water painter and we just want a little bit of our craft white, put a little bit of water and then just flick it. Yeah, I don't have the lid. I don't know what happened to the lid. That's so typical of me not to have the lid. Okay, there, we'll leave that. Grab a paper towel, dry it off. And hopefully, that's a lot of dots right there. We'll sop that up. Hopefully, it'll be dry by the time we get to it. I don't know. I used a lot of water. Okay. Now, let me get all of this out of the way. Look. I'm going to get white all over myself and everything. Now, let's make our box. See if I can remember how I made the box originally. <laughs> Let's see if my measurements are correct today. Who knows, who knows? 
Here's my cheat sheet, my little notepad. All right, nine by eight, that's what we have, nine by eight. I don't know what that is, a little piece of paper. Um, on the long side, we're gonna do two and a half, four and a fourth, six and three fourths, eight and a half. That looks right, okay. One and three fourths on the short side, five and three fourths, seven and a half, okay. So this box was made um, for this, you know, the perfect size for these little Tic Tacs. Hello from Montana. Mary Ellen, I bet you have snow in Montana. No, my friend Crystal posted just a few minutes ago that they were having a snow day in Salt Lake City. So all of my Utah people, do you love it or do you hate it? Okay, let me look at my box. <laughs> okay, let me remember how I did it. Down here, this, this side, this is the side where we're gonna, you know, fold it over. We've got a little skinny tub. So we're gonna cut off everything except for that long tab in the middle okay so we've got that then let's see we're going to put this together and we're going to cut off this piece right here all right so come over here on the end on the opposite end and whoops cut those two off now we're going to cut just these two top skinny rectangles off like this. Okay. And then let's see which way we want it. Yep, we want to disconnect the, the tabs from the lid. So cut from this way. And like that. Well, Erica, you need to learn how to cut a straight line. Let's try that again. There we go. And then these right here, we'll just cut at an angle, okay? Now I'll set it down so you guys can look at it in a minute. So if you're watching the replay, you can pause it and look exactly, see exactly what I did. So down at the bottom, we're just gonna cut these apart, cut the corners off of the, well, I'm gonna do all of them but really you just need to do two of them. What is with my cutting today? It's not very good. Not very good at all. That's why I gotta cut the corners off because then I'm gonna have edges sticking out. And I did that one already. Okay, so now that's what your box looks like, okay? If you need to pause it, pause it. I mean, not during the live. <laughs> you can't pause the live, sorry. Um, now, I'm gonna put adhesive over here on that skinny tab. I'm just using Stamp and Seal, but I would recommend if you're giving this as a gift, use Stamp and Seal Plus, Tear and Tape, or um, Tombow, all right? Fold in the sides, this is the bottom. Then you wanna fold in the back tab first, and then the front tab last all right and then these fold in and this goes in like that all right so there's your box let's put our let's put our coca-cola tic tacs in like that and like uh, that okay now let's come back and see if this is dry pretty much for the most part it's dry we're going to put this piece I don't think I put the measurement for this. It is two and three eighths by three and seven eighths because the box is two and a half by four. Okay, now I have cut out a bunch of trees using the cloche dies. Now the cloche dies are sold out, but look in your dies, I'm sure you have trees. Some trees somewhere, everybody's got some trees maybe even some kind of tree punch. I, I cut them all out of basic white and we're gonna use dimensionals 
to just arrange them around. Some up high, some a little bit lower. Do the big ones first and then start arranging the other ones. Mm, is that too big? Yeah, probably, but we'll, we'll just do this one. And then just kind of start arranging your little forest going from biggest to smallest. And I don't know how many trees I used on the first one. It doesn't really matter. Just some, depends on how you arrange them. We'll stick one back here like that. And we'll put a few. <laughs> how do I figure out like where to put the trees or the measurements? The measurements are easy. I just use my grid paper. I draw around the project that, I'm, that I wanna make a box for. And then these, I just start throwing things on until I like the way they look. I, I wish I could, you know, I, I don't really have a clear cut way of doing it. I just, you know, like when I see it, when I like it, then I know that that's it. The measurements. Um, we haven't done that in a while. Um, I have, there's a video from last year's, the very first video from my 12 days of Christmas last year, I showed you guys how to make a box. So maybe we need to do that again. Um, you have to, you know, measure the height, the width, and the depth of whatever it is that you are needing a box for. And then I just draw it out like a little blueprint on my grid paper. We'll do it again. I'll do it again next month and show you. All right, so I made a little basic white frame um, with the stitched rectangles. Now I have a small, um, what is this, vellum circle. Now I cut my polar bear, and you guys aren't going to be able to tell, but this is our snowy white paper. It's kind of like velvet. And it is real soft. I thought it'd be perfect for the polar bear. I haven't used it at all, but it's perfect for this. And we'll put that right there. Now, I also have cut out a stitched, real red stitched heart from the Give It A Whirl dies. And we'll put that there. Let's stamp our sentiment. Thank you. Is this gonna fit on here? This doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Is this the right one? It is, okay, hmm, I don't know. I should have I should have gotten a piece of paper and then cut it out, but let's see. Yeah, pretty good, let's try it again. It's a little bit too low. All right, yes, I got it, perfect. That's why cardstock has two sides. One side is to practice. The other side is the real thing. All right, so we got that tag. That tag is from the Ornate Frames dies, which is in the annual catalog. And then we've got our Playful Pets um, twine. Love this twine. And we're gonna do a little glue dot. And then we're done. Right there. And there you go. So that's like a thank you gift. Not necessarily Christmas, but you know, just because a stamp set doesn't have Christmas words, Christmas sayings, doesn't mean you can't just pull them from another um, stamp set. All right? Or don't use it for Christmas at all. Use it for something else as a thank you gift. All right, what do you guys think? Fun? Do you like the Arctic Bears? I love them. I wish they were carrying over. I think the French stamp set is sold out. And I remember at the beginning of all this, the dies or the stamp set or something was on low inventory, but then they took it off low inventory. So maybe they got another shipment in, which makes me happy. Hopefully they won't sell out. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Yeah, that would make a cute Christmas card too, right? Just make it bigger. Yeah, that's a great idea, Nina. All right, make sure you hop over to my blog, pinkbuckery.com. Uh, scroll down, click the link for the uh, door prize, and I will give away a new door prize tomorrow on day 11. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.